Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the top 10 books that I want to read in 2020. So these are a mix of books that I either own or ones that are coming out later this year that I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting out, I first have Lost Roses by Martha Hall Kelly, and this is like a spin-off to Lilac Girl. So instead, um, in this case, it is following Caroline's mother during World War One, which I'm really excited about. I think it's also kind of in the same format as Lilac Girls, where it follows different women at different stages in their life, or like at different points during the war. And so it features Caroline's mother, Eliza, and follows three equally indomitable women from St. Petersburg's to Paris under the shadow of World War I. So I'm really excited for this. This author has a really good way of really drawing you in to her writing. It's really like it's something like it really just draws you in. It's so vivid. The characters are vivid and very distinct and multi-dimensional and so I have high expectations going into this one in 2020. Next I have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern and so I read The Night Circus a couple summers ago and I really enjoyed it so I've had my eye on this so I was really happy that this was something that I got as a gift um, but I don't want to know too much about this book going into it I just kind of want to go into it blind and I think that's how you kind of have to go in with these things but I know there's something with like a book and and a key or something so I like I said I don't want to know too much about it um, but I'm really excited for it I really love her magical world that she creates and again it's very vivid with like the night circus you could totally picture like this world she created you could taste the food she's talking about so I'm hoping I have that same kind of immersive experience with this book Next I have Blood Brothers by Nora Roberts and this is the Sign of Seven trilogy and so I this is a series or a trilogy that I want to marathon this year so I'm really excited for this. My mom and my aunt have all read this trilogy so I'm really excited to pick this up. I really love Nora Roberts trilogies that I've read and so I'm really interested to see this one. They're really dark and twisted and I really just love her magic system so I'm very interested to see how I feel about this trilogy and this is definitely one that I'll be marathoning this year. So this is a book that I picked up earlier in 2019 that I just never got around to finishing and this is one of the few books from my original 2019 TBR that I haven't read so I want to kind of get it off there and it's part of a series so I'm excited about that as well and it is The Trust by Ronald H. Bolson and this is part of the Once We Were Brothers series. I don't really know what they actually call it um, but it's in line with that but basically it follows the one of the characters family and um, one of his like wealthy uh, like grandfather passes away but it's mysterious in terms of his death and it's kind of like a murder investigation seeing if it was related to the massive wealth that he left behind so I'm very interested to see how I feel about this one. I think there's one book because I read them out of order because I read the first one and then my aunt gave me like the third one and I think this is the fourth so I have to read the second one so I'll probably pick that one up at the library before I read this one but I generally know what's going on in this world but I still really love these characters and I'm really interested to see how they tackle this scenario in this book. Next this is the fourth book in the Diviners series by Libba Bray and it is King of Crows and I'm really excited for this one. I believe it comes out in February and basically this takes place in the raging 20s in New York and it follows a group of misfits who have some sort of power whether it is they can like touch an object and know the history of the person who owned that object. They can walk through dreams like that stuff but there is this evil man known as the king of crows who's kind of disrupting both kind of the paranormal world and then our world as well so this is the continuing novel of this series so I'm really excited for this I really loved this trilogy or this series so far it's very fun it's very atmospheric and the last one ended on such a cliffhanger so I'm very curious and interested to see like what happens next so I'm definitely really excited for this one as well Next I have Gone to Darkness by Barbara Nicholas and this is the fourth book in the Sydney Parnell series. I really love this series. It's probably one of my favorite like modern crime series so I'm very excited for this one. The third one ended like it was a crazy. I loved the third one. It was just very interesting and I'm very curious to see what the direction this series is going to take now because the third one deals a lot of, with a lot of the stuff 
that is alluded to in the first two books about Sydney's past in Iraq and it kind of goes off from there. So I really am interested to see the direction this is going. I really love Sydney's character and her canine companion Clyde so I'm really excited for this one coming out. I want to say June but I could be totally wrong when it comes out. Next, this is also another book that comes out and it is The Splendid in the Vile by Eric Larson and this is a non-fiction book on Winston Churchill and so I'm really excited about this. I've read two of Eric Larson's books. I haven't read one in several years actually but I've really enjoyed it. He takes, it's basically non-fiction but he writes it in a way that's almost a narrative but it's, it quotes a lot of the stuff they've either written in their diaries or like other people have written about them so it's very much it's like a history book but it's written in a way that is really like you can really like get into it and so I'm really excited about this one especially watching The Crown I'm really like in like the first two seasons that deal with Winston Churchill he's very he's very much an interesting person like he, he's a very interesting man so I'm really excited for this one as well like I said I haven't read an Eric Larson book in a couple years but he does a really good job with this so I'm really excited for this and I always love books that integrate history and they do it in a way like in a non-fiction setting but they do it so in a way that is it flows a lot better and it's not as dry. Next I have The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which is the prequel to The Hunger Games. When this was announced I was really excited actually. I do, I have like a love-hate relationship with The Hunger Games trilogy as the books. I do really love the films. I love the film adaptations. Not so much the first one with the shaky video but I do really love this trilogy. I think it deals with very important subject matters that are very relevant today and like um, I'm really curious to see this one and like what it has in store like what like I think it'll be interesting to go back into this world before like we like before Katniss before PETA like I think this one will be really fun so I'm really excited for this one as well so this is another one that I'm really excited about this one won a Goodreads award um, I'm pretty sure so I'm really excited for this one and I'm thinking of making it one of the book club picks so if you're interested let me know and it is The Silent Patient by Alex Michael Lee Lights and basically this follows a woman who is married to this very affluent man and everyone thinks they have this very perfect relationship until she ends up murdering him and no one knows why she's refusing to talk until she ends up having to work with this psychologist who's trying to get her to talk and it kind of goes off from there um, but I think this one it has such an interesting topic I love kind of those psychological dark thrillers so I'm really interested to see how this plays out especially Especially with one character being like silent and refusing to talk but you're very interested to see how that plays out on the page so like I said if you guys want this to be a book club pick let me know but I'm really excited for this one and lastly I have the Downton Abbey movie companion book that I got for Christmas and so I really love these types of ones that do the movie companion ones I think they're really fun and especially if you like I'm not really I don't want to be involved involved with any of like the film business stuff like I don't want to be a part of that industry but I think it's very interesting like the process and of making a film so I think this one will be really interesting it goes into the characters the set designs the outfits and especially because this is a period piece I really love the fashion that they wore in here and just how they replicated that era so I'm very interested for that there's two other or actually three I'm looking up on my shelf now three Downton Abbey like kind of like these related to the TV show so my motivation is if I finish those three then I can pick this up this one up so um, that's kind of <laughs> my goal so it's kind of motivating me to kind of pick up the other ones that have been on my shelf for a while but I am nevertheless I'm still really excited to pick this one up as well so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what books you are excited about to read in 2020 and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye guys